Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, big warm welcome. Hello, hello. I'm really glad you joined a little Cockney Craft fam. Click on the subscribe and all that, leave a comment, do what you want. But yeah, I'm glad you're here. So, just before I start cracking on, all I'm going to do today is a little craft with me while I'm making some ephemera for the peacock folios. But before that, I'm going to show you my new little kit, right? So, it's a 12-page kit. It's called Faux Fabrics. And as you can probably guess by the title, it is just all um, fabrics, like vintage pieces I've had and that, and bits and bobs that I've scanned in because I think they make gorgeous, gorgeous pages. So, there's 12 pages in the kit. And there's, like, different colour and variety. This is fabric, and this is a doily on top of the fabric. Some of you might have seen that I've used these before. It's another lovely one. I love this one. If you do buy this kit, there's, there's lines in the fabric. It's not that your printer's gone wrong or anything like that. There's lines throughout the fabric. But I really love that, and I think it goes really well with what I'm doing at the minute. Got a nice black and white one for if you want to do monotones. Oh, and by the way, these ain't printed on white, so that is a much more crisp black and white than that. This is ivory because I just like the feel of the paper better and that, so that's that. You've seen me use this loads and I'll, I'll colour bits of it or I use it as it is. Yeah, so that's that one. This is all embroidered, which ain't that just fabulous. And then we've got this one. Nearly getting there to the end. This lovely one. I adore this. I really do. And then we've got this lovely blue. And then the final page. I've got these three doilies. They're like, um, they're not the normal, normal. <laughs> what was that? Um, they're not normal kinds of doily. It's like wool that you knit with but they've crocheted and made these doilies which are lovely and then this gorgeous trim and if you go over to my coffee page right i've set it up you ain't got to part with no dough you ain't got to subscribe you've not got to click on the buy a coffee you ain't got to do nothing like that i'm using that page as a blog um because I've always liked the idea of a blog, but I didn't know what platform or where you would do it. But coffee enables me to have a blog, have a gallery where I show my work, and I've created a freebies gallery. So this is the fabric that is the um, freebie for the faux fabrics um, kit. And it goes really well because as you can see it's peacock on it and that so it goes really well with the um proud as a peacock kit as well so yeah this is the freebie and um you'll also find free uh, there's a freebie folder and in it so far there's an add-on for the lily kit the proud as a peacock kit and the faux fabrics kit and i'm working on another journal um journal i'm working on another kit at the moment and that will also have what i'm trying to do is every time i design a kit i'm trying to sort of maybe have one page that i'll do extra to put in the freebies and as I start doing it more I've been trying to blog a couple of times a week as well and it's really helping me out because when my house is so busy and I'm in the like kitchen diner when it's not quiet enough for me to film I can sit typing and do a little blog you know or I can sit designing and upload stuff to um, the page so I'll put the link down below and like I said don't be scared off by the concept of that um website because it is on the coffee website and there are options where you can click to buy a coffee or you can click to subscribe um but you ain't got to do that i'm giving you these freebies because i love yous and i'm grateful for yous i don't expect anything in return that's not why i'm doing it it's just someone told me about the site and it's the ideal platform because I can blog as much as I want till my heart's content. And I've always wondered about how I would give out little freebies and things. 
to the kits, like little add-ons, just as a thank you, because I say it and I say it and I say it again, you have changed my life and you enrich my life so much. I'm so grateful for all of you and the friendships that I've made and everything. You're all just amazing. And so I've wanted for ages to sort of try and be giving back what I get out of this because I get so much joy in my heart and I'm so happy now. Whereas before I did this, I've never been shy about it. I've always shared, I've, I've struggled with my mental health. I am bipolar um, and I've got fibromyalgia, which also, like, you can struggle with depression and things. But since I've been doing this, I'm so well. And it's because there's so much love in my life. So I'll, the link is down below. You can hop over there. And trust me, I don't expect nothing from no one. I just want you to use the um, freebies that I'm putting over there. Because otherwise, it's a waste of time. But I'm putting them in a folder, hoping, <laughs> hoping with my fingers crossed, that people will go and have a little look, you know, or a little read of my blog or whatever. Because I'm just trying to keep, like, right what I'm doing or what's happening in my life. Right, so that's that. End of that. Let's start creating something. Right, so before we do anything, I want to make some um, tags and whatnot, journaling cards, but this doily was just, I don't know, my doilies are all together where I keep the doilies, but this one just appeared here, I'm sure I've got a little ghost around about, because loads of things since I've moved in here just keep happening, it's really mad. But um, anyway, <laughs> people are thinking, oh, hang on a minute, Ali, you're going a bit mental again. But no, really funny things keep happening and things keep appearing where I haven't put them. But anyway, because it was out, I thought, ah, oh, we'll use a doily, but I don't want it to start quite like that. So I'm thinking greens and a bit of violet and a little bit of yellow because I want it in the peacock colours and... There is a bit of yellow, that's not a, not pigmented enough. Let's see if I just wipe bits off of the thing. So you can actually see that it's yellow. I only want a little bit, but yeah. Oh, I'm going to have yellow spots all over me. Oh, look what I'm doing. Right, let's just try and... I won't use that bit. <laughs> and yeah, just... Right, I like that, and I'm just going to pop this over there, and these, because they're really messy, and, um, yeah, we'll use that in a minute. Right, here I am, and ain't that just wicked, I love it, and I'll tore that little bit there, but I was only going to be tearing it up anyway, because I thought, I'm going to do some tags and things, I've got some bits and bobs, and I have this playing card from the other day, I don't know when, but I didn't, it was on my tray, and um, yeah, I don't know when I was going to use it, but I didn't, and so it's already been gessoed and that, so I thought, well, what I need to do really is get some ink and bits and bobs up. I don't need loads, I have got the inks there. Um, well, that's that one. What have I got here? That's like a purpley. And I've got just there the blue. I'm just looking for their little house. Then I haven't got them rolling around and getting on my nerves and everything. Right, that's everything that I've got out. And, um, yeah, let's get some ink on these babies and then we can mess about with the doily and some other images. I've got a couple of images there of the, um, journaling cards that I made for the Proud as a Peacock kit. Oh look, that's coming out lovely. 
and um, yeah, I shrunk them down a little bit, and maybe one of them will fit on here because I think that might be quite nice. Mm, this is one of my favourites, but no, it's too wide. Oh, you might want to go with this little one with the peacock feathers on. I was just about to say eyes then, because they do look like little eyes, don't they? But, ah, I know what one do. I'll round the corners, because on the play card, they're rounded. And I just think it looks a little bit nicer. Yeah. So yeah, I've been I set up that little coffee page and I've been updating my little blog and um the house has been quite a bit hectic and that so I'm just sitting down to film now and the reason I'm whispering a little bit is because it is quite late. I think I'm gonna have that on that side like that, but I'm gonna have a bit of this. Mm. And I think I'm going to tear there. I'm going to have this for something else. But yeah, I'm going to have a bit of this. I won't tear. What I'll do, I'll glue it on. And then cut it. And then we've got a straight edge. I'm just looking because I did have a bone folder out. So that I can shush. I can't see it. So I'll grab this one. Oh, here it is. Look, now I've said I couldn't see it. There it was. I'll put the other one back, otherwise we'll end up with too many things out at once. I knew I had got it handy. Right. And, um, yeah, still loving these glues. Really do like them. Right. I love that bright yellow. And I had to do that with the ink because, for some reason, look, the other colours come out lovely, but for some reason I do have trouble with the yellow showing up. But, um... It's not a colour that I use too much, but yeah, in this, because they do have lovely um, yellow on their feathers, don't they, peacocks, as well as like the ones that we associate with them, like the blues and, the, and that, so yeah, and the greens, right, and I want that very gently. Make sure it's stuck nicely, but yeah, trying to be gentle because it is a it is a doily after all, and we'll just give that a little trim. So I've jumped right in, showed you my kit, and waffled on about my little blog and that. And yeah, please do go over there. All you've got to do, right, when you get there, click on gallery, right. And then there's a folder, and it is called Freebies. I just cut into the top of that, and I didn't want to. Yeah, and it's called Freebies. And um, I will be regularly updating that and putting ones on as I design kits and things. I'll be putting, um, putting more of them on there. Now, I don't want this central. I could have, but... I really want a bit of that on show and a bit of this. So I'm going to do it on the wonk, I think, like that. And then you can still see that it's a playing card as well. But before I do that, I fancy maybe, I don't know, a little bit of fabric or something. Maybe something quite sheer. We'll have a look what we've got. Right, so I found this bit, and that's really sheer. And what I thought, if I put it like... Oh, hang on, I'll just look at it a minute ago. If I put it something like that... And I'm still having that on the wonk, and you can see the colour on this side. But we get the little gem bit on there. So I'm going to try and stick it. I might only, because time to flatten it out, I think one goes off the top. And um, if I come right to the bottom, I think that'll be alright. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So, yeah, I, um, I hope you've all been well. I have been meaning to film all day but didn't get a chance but um i have been working on other stuff anyway so like while well, it's been like too busy indoors to film but um yeah and i'm still not 100 percent well i'm 
I've been in so much pain. It is just a flare up of my fibromyalgia, really. And um, what's that pair of oh, they're on my lap? I was thinking I've just got a pair of scissors out. Here they are. Right, I'm going to go a little bit of bath and fray that. Just fraying. If I can get the threads, that's it. Mm -hmm. So I've got a nice little frayed bit there. And I want to do the same down here. A bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's a nice little fray. And then I thought that can go on there. Like that. Yeah, like that. So, yeah, I... um. I've been wanting a film, but it's either been not the right time, or it's been that, um, I'm not really feeling up to it. So yes, I doubt if this will be a long craft with me, because, um, my right arm's fine, but, um, my left arm is really, it's been hurting badly and badly for days. Sorry about the state of my hands. I was gluing something earlier and um, yeah, it's took all my nail varnish off and everything like that. And um, I forgot about it till now and I'm looking, I've got ink over me. I've got all my nail varnish melted off with glue. I look awful. <laughs> you should see my face and my hair. Oh God, I look terrible. But um, my daughter bought face paints for the children and um, I said, she, Olivia was a little bit scared, and so I was thinking I'm going to put just paper on here to journal on, but then I found this, and you could journal on that little bit there, and that just fits so well, and then you can see it from behind when you're looking at this side, I think I'm going to do that, I weren't planning on it at all, but then when I saw it, I thought, do you know what? Oh, what? Oh, I've just thought something else. What if I put some paper on, to journal on, and I make this little thingy? Yeah, we'll do that. Right. So, this is where I start running out of room already, and we've only just started. <laughs> little tidy up quick. I'm going to grab and say so, oops see so, yeah um this arm it's been really hurting and one of my legs is really bad you know, and weirdly it's the opposite leg so i'm having real bad trouble with my right um leg like around the knee area and this arm, just like from my hands right up to my shoulder, last night, um, it was hurting, but as well, you know when you get like a dead arm, remember when I was a kid at school and people used to punch the top of your arm give you a dead arm? It was feeling like that, and then going pins and needles here and everything like that last night, it was um, proper playing up when I got in bed, I wasn't impressed at all. All I wanted to do was sleep. And then I've got an arm keeping me awake, <laughs> of all things. Anyway, I know that's only little, but we've only got a little playing card, haven't we? It's not massive. Yeah. So about there, I might have to take a bit more. No, that's fine. And I'll just ink it. Ooh, I want that to be there. I'll just ink around this quickly. And so, yeah, I hope everybody else has been doing all right. I do feel a bit better than I did last week because I just, I couldn't film. I really couldn't. I felt really ill. But, yeah, I'm feeling a bit better. But, um, and you have to sort of keep on going, don't you? Like, I've got things, work to be done, things to be finished and that, you know. And when you feel it... When you're feeling ill, ill, you don't want to do anything. But when you're feeling all right, but just hurting, then that is really frustrating. Like last week, I was too ill to do anything. But this week, I feel fine, but just the pain. 
And so, yeah, that, um, I find that to be really frustrating because your head is going ten of the dozen, thinking of all the things that you need to do. And, right, I don't know if I want it upside down or right way up. I think I like it that way. So I'm just gonna use a bit of this fabric tack and go across the top and hopefully that will be enough and it will stay where I want it because I do think it looks quite nice with the frayed edges peeking out from behind when you flip it over like that yeah I think that looks quite cute with them there like that so that is that and there's a little journal in space there and we've got another little one there so I like that where am I going to put everything and right what do we want to do now right now I said I had these couple of little um, journaling cards that are shrunk down to be a bit smaller um, I was just looking for what ink and I want this broken china it is one of my actual favourites I just love it <laughs> and I thought we'll play around I've got some like book page that I've just mopped up um, ink with I don't know when but I did and yeah I, I had that put with me little off cuts and bits that I'm going to make tags with and that of my backing paper that I printed out so that's the backing paper from this peacock kit or background pages whatever you want to call them but um yeah I've mocked up and I'd put it in with them because I think it's cool to use and I've also got some of these bits that I dyed in another video and um, not used and yeah don't forget our wonder doily I just love that I really do this bit's a little bit mullered in there you can see but that'll probably be covered but I don't want to cover that bit because with the purple and then the blue and then the green I think that does kind of look like part of a peacock like feather well my interpretation I really do I really like that so yeah I can't hide that that's got to be somewhere where it can be seen right let's see mm. yeah that's not a bad size for that this one mm, it's not wide enough that piece will do but where this one's got rounded edges I'm going to round the corners on this one and I'm going to leave this side blank for journaling and so we'll work on this side making it nice and pretty hopefully And so, yeah, over here, they're starting to ease the lockdown rules. I told you before, I've got to see my grandkids. It's fabulous. Oh, and it's here, so. Um, yeah, they're starting to open up more businesses and things like that. But um, not schools yet. That won't be until about September, they're saying. But, um, yeah, they're starting to open up other bits and bobs. But, um still don't know what to do for the best deal like we can go on public transport but you have to wear a face mask i've got a face mask oh no i don't want that covered up do i i've got to use that somewhere else where we can see it more a nice piece of this might be cool so yeah i've got face masks and whatnot but um yeah did you know whether you taking chances getting on a bus if there's loads of other people on there and that do you, you know like you don't know how careful they've been whether they've been as careful as us or whether they haven't been at all you know everyone's different aren't they and as their different interpretation of what you should be doing on lockdown and what you shouldn't right let's look 
So I can use this on one bit, then I won't have enough to do another bit. Because it'd be that way. I don't want the writing that way, but that's cool. Because I've got other bits and I'm sure this the bottom bit that I end up left with will be used somewhere because I like it. It looks quite nice, doesn't it? With the, just a faint hint of the different colours. So we'll do we'll ink around it in different colour just for the fun of it. And I do love this colour, this is one of my favourites as well. Oh. And so I'm working on ephemera for the folio that we did on camera. Haven't got around to making the other journal yet for the other folio. Because remember I had two. I showed you a different closure on one. But because um, I've been a bit under the weather, I just haven't made it at all. I've got papers printed out because um, that don't take no effort, does it, to just click on click on something to print. Right. And that will sit there like that. Yeah. I'm liking what where where we're going with this so far. And I do want I'm trying to think where this doily is gonna look its best or whether to have it in a couple of pieces. But yeah, I don't wanna hide it. But um we might not get to use that tonight, the rest of it. We, I might have to think about that one. Because I am pretty tired. It's really late here. But, um, yeah, we've been busy today and that. So, I just haven't, haven't had the chance to sit and do something. And time kept knocking on as it does. It kept flying by. And I, I thought, I've got to sit and do something tonight film something because i feel like i've been neglecting years right so that's our side that we've got a journal on which i like um ooh. oh sorry i do apologize that my phone just rang um <laughs> i don't mean it to but yeah sorry that that just went off but um yeah now i've forgotten what i was doing oh what I was talking about, so, <laughs> right, so, I was going to put this on there, but then I just thought, I'm going to have a bit of this, not with that bit of fluff, but, yeah, a bit of this, and, um, right, I don't need loads, I just thought, because you can see through it, it adds a bit of sparkle, other than, yeah, where it's got all cotton on it from different bits of trim, being in the same box. Right. And, yeah, I might just turn it over a little bit. And then, mm, I want it wider. I've not, mm, no. I'm going to have to cut another bit off now. And so, oh yeah, I've got some exciting news, right? You know my logo, um, the Cockney Crafter logo with the Union Jack um, and my name, like, in the middle? Well, that artist, I'm lucky enough that I know him, right? And, um... He's a brilliant artist and he's always, always drawing and that, you know, um, doing loads of stuff. But he never really um, has released anything before um, other than, like, he just, he, he just don't like to. But um, he kindly did my logo for me when I first started on YouTube 
and I love it and I obviously you've seen I use it on all my social medias and that and um, he is just just now releasing some of his pieces with a shop called Soul Spirit Designs UK on um, Etsy and oh they're fabulous they really are fabulous you've seen what my logo's like i love art like that you know all swirly whirly um abstract kind of art and i'm lucky enough that i have got a couple of pieces of these up in my house because as i said i do nothing you know but um yeah for the first time he's releasing loads of these pieces and um yeah they're on etsy and the, the shop's called soul spirit designs uk and um i have helped them out because they was starting but you can't save that name of your shop unless you put something in it and um i was helping them like giving them some advice um because they're doing it as a team now i love these but look these have just come and the picture was loads and loads of flowers like that which i thought oh great but they're not flat backed for um what's it for using in the way that we use them so i've got to do what i've done before and I'll sort of deconstruct them when they come like this and then glue them back together and I do like that. I'm going to have it down the bottom. So, yes, yeah, so I was helping them and like they um, sorted the name out and everything like that. And then um, didn't have nothing to put in it. So I gave them one of my. <laughs> I said, pop round. I've got paper packs and you can sell one of them if you want to. And so, yeah, that. Oh, now this is going to be annoying. I've got to do. I've done it before with bigger flowers take off the middle off of the plastic but it's just falling apart mm. see i've done that before and it just sort of breaks off and then sticks back on i'm going to put a gem in there instead because it's not let me do what i wanted to but uh -huh. i've just seen is that a flat back no I thought I'd just seen a little flat back pearl, but it wasn't. I've got some in here in the little pot that Lily made me. And I'm looking for, there was, there we are. I don't know whether that'll be too small. Let's see. Right, I'm just getting rid of the bits of the other bit. I'm just seeing. No, I think that's not not great. Oh, I could choose one of these darker ones. Let's see what that will look like. Or I wonder if this is this the same size as the one I just had, but just different. No. I'll have that. I'm going to pop a bit of glue though. And so, yeah, they've got one of my um, packs of coffee and tea dyed paper and, um, in their shop. Because <laughs> they didn't want to lose the name. They've gone that far, like starting it all. And um, I was like, look, just pop around, get one of my paper packs, you can have it. And you've given me art for free before. Designed my logo um, for free just because being a mate and that. And so I was like, right, list this in your shop until you're ready with your, um, till you took all your photos and that or scanned or whatever you have to do to get these drawings because they're all like pencil drawings and or drawn with like fine line markers and things but they're absolutely fabulous and um yeah i just think people are going to love them and 
the kind of style. Look at my logo and all the intricate, how uh, the Union Jack then flares out and goes all, all swirly whirly, I call it. Swirly whirly art. And yeah, it's, um, it's all that kind of thing. And so, yeah, go and check them out. I'll leave the link in the description box down below because, as I said, the good mates and yeah, DB who does the um, who does the artwork like the artist, he is absolutely fabulous. He really is, and he's like my brother from another mother. He really is. That's what, that's what I call him because yeah, we're like two peas in a pod, and um, yeah. He is just such an undiscovered, brilliant talent. And I just think as soon as they, as people start checking them out, they'll, they'll just be blown away by some of his, um, some of his drawings. They are just amazing. I really love that. But obviously, I'm not going to hide it with that. So I'm going to use, or shall I do this? as the German card. No, I'll use that because I can use the whole big length on a longer tag like that. So let's come back to this little bad boy here. And right. I'm just going through some of these scraps. Um, oh, I've got a bit of my tool here in this that lovely peacock blue. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with this. Oh, I know. I'm going to punch a little hole and fiddle some of that through. And that will be hanging off. But on the actual tag. Ah, oh, I know what I've got. I've got some of Lisa's dyed wax paper. Sirius Hecker. Am I pronouncing the second bit right? I know Sirius. Is it Hecker? Hika? You'll have to tell me, Lisa, uh, if, if I've got the pronunciation right or wrong. But... She's fabulous. She's a friend of Dawn, the book vandal shop, who is a lovely, lovely friend of mine. And Lisa has become a friend. Like, she's a lovely lady and um, brilliantly talented. And look at this um, dyed wax paper. It is absolutely fabulous. I'm going to use a bit of this. It's the first time I've used a bit because I don't want to use it because it's so lovely. Sorry, I just had to stop again because my daughter had to do the baby's bottles. Um, so, I just tore a bit of this while I was waiting. And then I'm thinking a lot of it's going to get hidden. So, I think I might just have like a strip there. Maybe a little bit of foot page. And then our peacock like that. Um, let's go with it. That. I might as well use the glue stick while I'm doing all paper. And yeah, Lisa, this stuff, it's amazing. And the colour is just awesome. It really is. I um, adore it. And like I said, I've not been using it because I like it too much. But then I thought, I could use a little bit, you know, like, I've got to use it sometime. And... I will use a bigger bit <laughs> when I'm doing like in my own journal and that because it's so lovely, it really is. But yeah, I thought I've got to use it while I'm making things as well. But yeah, it's just so gorgeous. It makes you not want to part with it. Right. Oh, I thought I stuck it to the book page then. Right, so we're going off centre so you can see these little pieces poking out. And then, right, that's the side to journal on. And then I thought maybe a little bit. Maybe down here. Just a little, I don't want to cover his... Um, tail I might go up here then a little bit and then I thought maybe I've got these little flowers but I should grab a white one really shouldn't I um 
maybe colour it lilac or green or something like that. Let's see if I've got a white one. Only about any, I've got one of them ones, that's too big though. Oh, check me out, look I had one there. What a result. Right. Good job I looked then, wasn't it? Right, sorry. Just getting rid of those little bits. And now I'm thinking, shall I have it like that? I might leave it white. Or, or, look at me, I'll start, don't I? I'll say, oh yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I have little thing pops in the edge. Like that. Because they're slightly sort of pinky purpley on that book page. So, I'm thinking, yes, I like that. The reason, oh no, oh, should, I could have it there. Because the reason, yeah, I was going to go there originally was because I was going to put an eyelet there. Oh, look, I can still go there and not be covering the tail. Because that's the only thing I didn't want to go in that corner for. And I'm doing it slightly hanging off. And then we've got a gorgeous flower on there like that. Perfect. And then I'm gonna set an oh I'm gonna set an eyelet at the top. And oops. And then we'll have a little um oh <laughs> oh, sorry, did you hear that noise? That, oh, oh, that was my back. <laughs> oh, I might have to um, stop in a minute because, yeah, oh, that did hurt. I just didn't want to leave, like, not filming, not putting any content out because when we started lockdown, I was trying to get as many videos out as possible because I know how boring it is stuck at home and that and I just thought, oh, if it sort of, if I can sort of make someone laugh or give someone an idea or just keep someone company while they're crafting or while they're sitting at home, then that's a good thing, you know. And so, yeah, I was trying to put out a lot of content and then... I started feeling ill like last week or the week before and then, then yeah it's all gone a little bit slow because I'm not getting, I'm not, I haven't filmed hardly anything. I should have cut that off shouldn't I before I started cleaning it about because it's just, oh although that's got stuck like that and then now I've got extra bits. Hang on let's see if that'll stay. I like that. Now I don't want that coming undone, so I might put a little bit of glue. Just a tiny bit where the knot is. And I'll leave that standing up to dry and then it won't um, stick to anything. But yeah, I kind of like that. It's got a nice coloration on the back for journaling and then yeah so we've got that done one done and we've got this little one done right and now I want to make a tag using this doily and I've got a bit like this with different colours and that one and I want to use as much of this doily as I can because I love it so let's just get some colour on the back here and I've got book page still and I what else have I got oh I've got the other book page just there um, and I'm just messing about with these getting different bits of colour on most of it will be covered up, but yeah, just, just making it nice. Oh, I don't know what's going on with my phone. Oh, look at that. Um, and this one's going to be a tag 
So I'll grab one of the cards and snip off. Mm, I don't know this ends. Don't ask me why. I can't explain. <laughs> but yeah, we'll go that way. And yeah, I know I haven't done a lot. I've only done two journaling cards. But um, I'll probably have to um, go to bed after this, this one. Because I am very tired. And this arm... Um, yeah, it's it's starting to get quite uncomfortable again. Right, so oh, just thinking where where I want what. Right, I've got that nice long bit. Yeah. last bit at the bottom and we'll link around that oh. and oops yeah what well, I'll um I'll link the um my friend's new Etsy shop in the description box down below and um yeah, soon I'll be able to show you some, like some more of um, their work and that. Um, actually, I want it going up that way. I think that is upside down, but I like it like that. Or do I? Yeah, I'm going to go there, actually, that way up. So, we'll... Get that bit on, and then I know I'll use a bit of my faux fabric paper to go there underneath where the door is going to go, and I think I'm going to use this bit. From the one, this is the freebie page. Right. Ooh. Stuck to that. Right. Um. Yeah, I want it. Let's see how wide. We don't want it overlapping our words. But we, I want it overlapping the paper, but not the writing. Let's see. Oh, that tear didn't go very well. What was I doing? No. That might be a bit too wide. No, I'll tell you what. I need a bit off the bottom. Like that. And, oh, it's getting darker. It's because I've had these lights on for ages because I was wanting a film for ages and ages and ages. And so the lights are needing to charge. I'm, it's getting darker. <laughs> they're telling me. <laughs> Maybe they're more intelligent lighting than I thought. They already tell me the time and the temperature and everything like that. Now they're saying to me, Ali, go to bed. <laughs> Stop doing this. I know they are. Right, so that I'm going to have like that. Oh dear. And you probably aren't going to see much of this now because I've just thought 
this is why I want to use my big doily, isn't it? Well, it's not big, but I want a lot of it on show. So, yeah, you probably won't see a white great deal of that, but that don't matter. Because, yeah. Oh, it's so lovely. I don't know where I want it. Oh, oh, that one's completely gone off. Right. What I'm going to do... Oh, it's so dark. I'm really sorry. I'm going to do part of it down the bottom and then try and put a little tiny bit at the top. A flap like that. Oh, this is... This is dreadful, isn't it? All my lights have... That one's given up completely because it's tired. Oh, well, I haven't had them on charge since I've got them because I've been using them. I should have thought of that really earlier. But my brain ain't been with it. Right, I've got to neaten that up there. A little bit of ink along there. Didn't that, ain't it? Just. I love how that's come out. Um, and I was going to go with just a tiny bit like that. So let's just get glue on here. Oops. Oh no, I can't use that bit that I've just torn. Right. Just like that. And then I'll trim it. Right. And then we'll set our line it and then I'm gonna say no night and go upstairs to bed after putting these <laughs> putting these lights on charge. I'm sorry we're working in the dark pretty much. I really am sorry. Hang on. I've got to get a bit under there. Oh dear. If you're new here <laughs> I am a scatterbrain. But um, we do have fun and we make some nice things along the way. Well, I think we do. So, yeah, if you're new, don't be put off. Normally, um, it's all bright lights and everything normally. And we normally get a lot more done. But, yeah, unfortunately, today's not a normal day. So, well, it's never a normal day with me around, is it? Right. Even though I'm in a little bit of an alley because it's, my lights have gone asleep and everything else. I really like that. I know it's really simple, but it's kind of the simplicity is kind of what I like. And so there's a bit of that. Where's the other longer bit? Right, it's blown away or something, so I'm just going to use this piece for a minute. I think it's enough anyway. Ah, and there's the other light gone, so right, we're in the dark now. Let's see if it just come back on for no, hang on, right, <laughs> right, right. So I thought I'd only made three things, I forgot that I did this at the beginning. <laughs> I completely forgot all about it. So we've got that all part of the doily. Yeah, I completely forgot. And yeah, just these little bits. I know it's not much and that, but it's just about all I can manage. Actually though, this bit, there's a little bit there. I need to put a little bit of glue under that because it's sort of going loose. It's a... Mm, just want a bit of glue in there and then push those bits of the doily back together again. That's it. And what I was thinking, I'm not sure whether to leave that plain or maybe something like a little bit of something down the bottom there. So I think maybe just wrap this round a few times. Right. And then. Oh, before I did that, I should cut there. Right. Oh, and here. 
Right, and then all I was going to do is like smush them together a bit. Um, oops! And just kind of smush them into this split pin here. But I don't want to push it through there. But I was just going to try and smush the stuff behind and then just get some glue down in this little corner because I just think there's something missing just at that little corner but that's all I like the rest of it and then put that like that and I can trim off that if there's any little excess pieces that I don't want like that that and yeah so that I haven't got to sit holding that and that it'll dry nicely I could just grip it oh no it'll pop off right well I'm going to be holding this <laughs> just while it dries and yeah that's what we did we uh, but um I hope you will have fun and that and I'll be back hopefully with something very soon. So love you loads. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.